I define real-time data compression with three key characteristics. First, you need to have high compression ratios. Obviously, compression is data dependent, but you need to be able to achieve the compression ratios that you would expect to see with a industry standard technology. Two, no performance degradation. You need to be able to compress data on the fly without having any impact to your storage array. And three, in order to do real-time compression, you need to be transparent in your environment such that applications can actually access that data. Data compression ratios vary from file type to file type. And as with every answer in IT, the most common answer is, it depends. But the store-wise technology leverages industry standard LZ compression, which is the, the compression technology that you would see within WinZip. So the intellectual property that we use, however, is really about making that industry standard, techno that industry standard compression real time. The number one question that we get asked when we talk about real-time data compression is, if you're compressing data before it gets to my storage, you must be slow. And in reality, real-time compression is actually no performance degradation and can even increase performance in some instances. The main reason is because by compressing data before you get to the storage array, you can actually maximize your storage cache and reduce the amount of impact on I.O and CPU within the storage array. With real-time compression with StoreWise, you don't need to uh, decompress the file in order to access the file. When StoreWise stores a file compressed, we actually preserve the file envelope, the permissions, the owners, and the ACLs or the access control list of that file, such that the application that wrote the file can actually read the file. Thank you. My name is Steve Keniston, and that's today's Compressed Thought.